Hello, and welcome to this 10-minute sequence for wrist pain and carpal tunnel. My name is Joelle, and you're welcome to do this routine in a chair like I am here. Let's start by interlacing our hands and drawing a figure eight in the air. And if anything feels like too much today, please back off, take a little break. We ask a lot of our hands and wrists every day with computers and phones and lots of other things, and the purpose is to make them feel better today not worse. And let's switch directions here. We're just warming up our hands and our wrists. Beautiful. And let's take just a little warm up for the fingers as well. Open and close the hands as fast as you can with your hands straight out in front of you. Keep going, keep going, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And keeping the elbows straight, let's do what I call the climber's grip. So fingers open, then bend just the first knuckle, then clench your fists and point them down. And then reverse to first knuckle and open. So knuckles, fists, knuckles, open. Keep the elbows straight here, keep going. Just getting rid of some tension. Now bring the right elbow against the ribs, hold on tight just above the wrist with your other hand, and rock your fist up and down a couple of times, and then right and left. So it's just the wrist, nothing else moves. And then take the wrist in a full circle through its full range of motion, and then just reverse directions. You might hear some cracking here, totally normal as long as it doesn't hurt. Now keep the hold above the wrist, just open your right palm to the ceiling and circle the hand again. So just the wrist moving, nothing funky with the fingers, no movement in the elbow or shoulder, reverse directions. We're just taking the joint through its full range of motion in a controlled articular rotation. And great, switching sides, left elbow hugs to the ribs, hold on above the left wrist now. And we'll do that four way rock up, down, left and right, and bring it into a circle all the way around, and then just reverse directions with that circle. And then the palm comes up, we'll just take a few more cards, controlled articular rotations, full range of motion here, and then reverse, keeping everything perfectly still except for the wrist. Beautiful. Now let's interlace our fingers again, but with the funny feeling thumb on top, and begin to lift the elbows to stretch the fingers, and then squeeze the elbows in. So lift, and then bring the elbows together. Keep going at your own pace, remember to breathe, remember to smile, you may have noticed that in all our exercises today, we're not actually placing any weight on our hands. And that's because this is really designed for managing and preventing pain in our hands and wrists. Now let's roll one finger at a time in and one finger at a time out. Take the hands, the, the arms straight out to the side and keep going. So while this is a great routine for keeping healthy wrists, if you're looking to really improve your wrist mobility, uh, let me know in the comments and I can make another video that does include some weight bearing exercises as well. And once it's ready, I can link that in the description box below this video. Now keeping the arms to the side, bring your thumbs to the palm with the other four fingers on top and begin rocking the wrists up and down a couple of times. And once you've done that, just hold the stretch with the wrist pointing down. So this is one of my favorites. It almost looks like we're pouring out some tea or coffee or maybe wine. Just imagine your favorite beverage of choice here. Hold this stretch just a tiny bit longer. Wonderful for the sides of the wrists here too. Now face the left palm towards the right as you use your right hand to press the palm back, keeping the left elbow up here.
And then we'll simply switch sides. So using the left hand to gently stretch the right hand back. You can take a few bouncy motions and then just hold. And now let's flip the left hand down this time and again gently pressing. So this one can be pretty intense too. It definitely is for me. And just changing sides. Maybe notice if one side feels a little yummier than the other. You can always spend a little extra time here or come back to it later. Now let's bring the hands to prayer in front of the chest and just move the hands to the right and then to the left. So just keep going side to side a few more times. This should feel pretty good after all this typing and texting and everything else that our poor hands have to do for us all the time. Now lift the prayer up to the sky and bring it to the back of the neck, stretching through the triceps back up and then back to the chest. So let's just do that a few more times. And what's great about this one is that in stretching our triceps, we're actually stretching the connecting tissues all the way down the arm, which can definitely contribute to wrist pain for many of us. So we're working our wrists and we're getting a little bonus triceps work as well. Beautiful. Last one. And then just release your right arm, make it go dead, and use, it, use your left thumb and your knuckles to massage through your forearm. So work your way all the way up and down along the top and bottom of the forearm. And if you find any little juicy spots, you're welcome to pause and really make the most of them. And also just take the opportunity to notice where do you actually feel tension? Where is it tight for you? And now keep the right arm relaxed and just use the other hand to stretch the thumb back and press the thumb against the left hand for a second. And then let it go, move on to the index, resist and let it go. Middle finger and now ring finger, usually our weakest finger. Pinky, resist a little bit and release. Now switching sides, your left arm goes limp as you massage up and down that forearm using your thumb, your knuckles, whatever feels good here. Self-massage can be such a wonderful tool to relieve pain. So again, if you'd like to see a 10 minute video on massage, maybe using therapy balls, just let me know in the comments. Beautiful job. Now we'll just stretch the left thumb, resist, and release, breeze out. Now the index, gently pressing, let go, middle, ring finger, everybody's favorite, <laughs> and pinky, just resist, and breathe out, let it go. And we're almost done here. Bring the fingertips together and then bring the palms together. So this is quite active here. We're really pressing our fingers here using our strength, almost as if we were doing fingertip push-ups on the floor, which thankfully for me at least, we are not. <laughs> doing really wonderfully. We're almost there, so just Release that motion and shake it out. And now take hold of your own thighs and start massaging your thighs. So this may not look like it, but it's actually another strengthening exercise. Really press the fingertips and squeeze the hands into the legs, similar to using something like a, like a stress ball, except we don't need any sort of props here beyond our own body. And a little thigh massage is just another bonus. And I want to thank you since this is our last exercise here for joining me today. I really hope this helped. I would recommend doing this every day for a week to see if your wrists feel healthier and stronger. 
If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Sometimes 10 minutes is all we've got. I hope you're staying healthy. Thank you and have a wonderful day.